So we had a device anywhere here at Mobile World Congress. And uh, you test applications, right? Uh, we don't actually test the applications, but we have a solution that allows developers to test their mobile applications. So uh, Device Anywhere has actually been around for about seven years. Uh, traditionally, we are known for our shared service called Test Center, uh, where we offer thousands of mobile devices that are available all over the world, uh, and you can access these devices through an online service called Test Center. Uh, these devices look something like this, as you can see over here. So where is that? Where are you based? Well, this uh, we're headquartered in San Mateo, California, but the devices yeah. that I uh, am uh, talking about the Test Center are available all over the world, as you can imagine, if you want to access the device, it has to be available in the local area. So, too. Device Anywhere is a big deal? Uh, it's a big company? Well, it, yeah, with, with, the, uh, with the mobile developers, we're a very well-known um, and recognized brand, almost a standard for testing across the entire developer ecosystem. So, so if, if, if a big company makes an important app, or any developer even making small apps, it's useful for them to, to yeah, use your service? Yeah, it's important for... Uh, I like to say Joe developer in his garage all the way up to a Fortune 500 company. And the Fortune 500 company will spend as much time on your service than a small company or they might well, use more services? No, a Fortune 500 company will use a different aspect of our solution, which I'm going to show you. What we're seeing today is that a lot of the bigger organizations that we've traditionally uh, serviced for, uh, through our shared solution are now gravitating to build uh, their applications in-house uh, and are interested in having their own devices to do so. So for example, here you see Device Anywhere Test Automation for Smartphones. So what this really just shows you is that no longer it's about the mobile developer. Right now, IT teams, QA teams are all interested in taking legacy applications, internal applications, IT applications, and offering them on the mobile uh, platform. So what we offer to them is a dedicated cloud of devices in their own uh, firewall, and we host it, we manage it, we help them make sure that it works properly, but that will allow them to test internally all of the applications that they want to offer. This includes IT, this includes applications for workforce management such as Salesforce.com. This even includes consumer-facing applications, but really it's the Fortune 500s that want it on select uh, devices yeah. and we host it for them. And the Joe developer, the small developer, uh, can, can go on your website, deviceanywhere.com? Or... Yes, they and can uh, go there's on a our service, website. is yes. like $13 per hour, something like that? That's our shared service, is $13 per hour. Our test automation for smart devices and test automation is available as a dedicated service and is also uh, available by, um, you can access our sales team by, by, by going to deviceanywhere.com. So basically, uh, your company buys all the devices all the time and puts them in the system, right? No, our company buys all the devices for the shared service and then if you are interested in, in having specific? a private yeah. cloud, then you have, uh, it's, it's based on yeah. this specific case, but uh, you, you have your own devices. Because right. you only want a specific set of devices, yeah. you don't want all of the devices. Uh, a usual uh, Joe developer app, how long time do they use your service before they know they have tested everything? Um, you might be able to do something in like 10 minutes or does it take hours? It depends. Sometimes they, they log in for 10 minutes and they log back in about a half hour later. It really depends on the type of test you're running. So and you charge per minute? Uh, no, we charge, uh, we charge in six, uh, I believe six to seven minute increments. Uh, so you have to at least be testing for that period of time. To and it's all web-based, isn't it a browser? Yes. All right. And uh, so people... And you... So just to close it out, uh, what I wanted to emphasize is that at Global World Congress today, and we've been coming to the show for several years now, the, uh, the area that we're uh, announcing is uh, really uh, fundamentally pointing to the test automation for smartphones. Uh, or test automation for smart devices, rather, because a lot of the need for enterprise-level application development and testing is now happening on the smart devices, tablets, and so forth. So the products uh, that we have uh, focusing on today are, are uh, test automation for smart devices. Uh, we've made an announcement with Alcatel-Lucent as well as Sigeti, so uh, Sigeti Capgemini, so I would encourage
encourage everyone to take a look at our website for uh, updated news and information on what's going on with the device. And cycle. everybody in the industry can use this, your service. It's not yeah. just apps developers. Yeah, everybody. so we have two types of, of business model. So there's the, uh, the shared service, which is test center. Yeah. And we also have the enterprise offering. The uh, carriers. Which are available and dedicated. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot.